Uh, the project, which is a uh, Club of Madrid project with a support from 3D, uh, has been a very great success because it was not the kind of uh, one visit, one session, one conference, and all. The idea was a long-range uh, plan to choose three countries as specimens of uh, their own areas. I mean, Bahrain as specimen of uh, the uh, countries of the Gulf, the Morocco as uh, specimen of the countries of uh, west, uh, western part of the Arab world, that is North Africa, and Jordan as uh, representative of the eastern part of the Middle East. So the choice was, I believe, uh, meaningful. And uh, it uh, involved three visits, at least, to the three countries, which also involved arranging uh, meetings that uh, were held between uh, government authorities, opposition parties, uh, civil society organizations, and uh, this uh, rotating uh, workshop culminated in a uh, Dead Sea uh, conference last uh, February, and that uh, Islam provides the identity of the majority of people in the area. And to uh, take a position against Islamic identity uh, is very counterproductive and meaningless. And therefore, uh, there should be a recognition of all Islamic opinion and parties that are uh, prepared to accept the uh, human rights and the democracy alternative. Uh, this is a problem because Many regimes, in order to protect themselves, would like to portray all Islamic opinion as if uh, it is uh, uh, undemocratic and thereby perpetuate their own lack of democracy uh, using uh, uh, the, the intimidation about Islam uh, to say to people the alternative to us is undemocratic Islam. Uh, but we, we think, I think, that this is a very counterproductive tactic because it is true now that in many places uh, the, the only articulate opposition is Islamic. What needs to be done is to uh, address this uh, Islamic uh, political uh, uh, body that yes, you will be uh, accepted, you have you will be legitimized, you will uh, be in the political process so long as you accept uh, democracy and plurality because it is very important uh, many people in the uh, West link modernization to secularization this is a completely mistaken attitude. In fact, Peter Berger, who is one of the founders or the propagators of the idea of secularism, said something very important. He said that we made a category mistake. We thought that the link was between uh, modernization and secularization. In fact, the link is between modernization and pluralism. And this link between modernization and pluralism could very well work with uh, an Islamic point of view if the Islamic point of view is also prepared to accept pluralism. And, and this is where I believe uh, it is necessary uh, to resolve this problem of 
secularism, modernization, Islamization, in a way that would make it possible for political opinion that is Islamic and that is prepared to accept modernization and to accept pluralism to be welcome in the political process. First of all, it is clear to us that in many instances uh, the countries involved did not like foreign intervention or foreign, foreign uh, mediation uh, because maybe they thought that the foreigners are meddling. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the uh, Club of Madrid, uh, they have made an exception. They welcomed the Club of Madrid in spite of the fact that um, the Club of Madrid is also composed of expatriates. Anyway, uh, I thought this was uh, an important... Uh, uh, breakthrough. Secondly, they did not mind the Club of Madrid addressing uh, political uh, parties that are opposition political parties. Again, this is uh, a very important step in the right direction. Uh, thirdly, they did not mind attending meetings between the, uh, themselves and opposition forces uh, in the presence of the Club of Madrid members, in which the two sides spoke very candidly and openly and transparently about their problems. This again was an important uh, uh, achievement in this respect. Um, you see, the whole point now is, uh, uh, as I felt, the need to uh, uh, end the kind of... Uh, um, dead end into which opposition and government are locked in as the, uh, uh, the, 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 the different uh, state authorities have reached a threshold mm -hmm. the Islamic parties have also reached a threshold where they have to choose between two very specific programs the, the program of the reactionaries who, who leap backwards, who speak now in terms of Al-Qaeda's ideas, and therefore they express a leap backwards. The other alternative is a leap forward that accepts democracy, that accepts modernization, and that marries um, uh, democratization and uh, modernization to Islamic reference. The, this threshold also has to be uh, crossed. Uh, some are leaping f backwards, reactionaries. Some are leaping forwards, the progressives. And uh, my only hope for the area is that uh, countries, states that have reached the end of their tether in terms of democratization, decide to move forward, to accept separation of powers, to accept basic freedoms, to accept human rights, and so on. And this to ally with uh, political uh, or, or Islamic movements that have also decided to leap forward in terms of accepting modernization, um, democratization, and so on. And uh, the misfortune of the area would be if the uh, state powers refuse any kind of reform, which will simply uh, empower the reactionaries. Yeah. And what is needed, therefore, is to realize that there is a holy alliance between uh, state reform that, is, that accepts democratization and uh, Islamic uh, movements that also accept modernization and uh, democratization. And there is an unholy alliance, although it may not be an alliance, uh, but a de facto alliance between uh, a, uh, an arrested reform in the different countries and the opportunities uh, made available for the reactionaries. Yeah.